Today I'm going to show you a quick CSS trick on how you can center or align your content using any of these four methods over here. You can use the flexbox, the grade, the position or the margin property. The video is divided according to these chapters over here. Timestamps are in the video description. So here's a demo of what I mean. We're going to move this box from here to the very center over here like this. And along the way we're going to look at various alignment techniques using CSS. So let's get started. By the way, I wrote an entire article on the topic that we're going to discuss today. Over here, you can see that we have the table of contents over here. Let's say that you want to work with grids. Okay, so here is the grid and let's say that you want specifically on how to center your div using grids, both horizontally and vertically. So here is the link over here. If you click over here, then you're going to jump to this section over here. Here is your source code and here is the result. I wrote this article so that you can revise it from here more easily, efficiently and quickly. Link of this article is given in the video description. Go and check it out. So let's start our experiment with Flexbox. Pick any code editor you want. For this tutorial, I'm going to write it on codepen.io. So once you have entered your code pen, come over to the HTML section and write dot container. Okay, container. And inside over here, you're going to write box one like this dot box. Oh, sorry, box then one then tap okay so over here you can place content like this you can place your content over here but for this tutorial i'm going to create a box okay and then we're going to experiment with various alignment techniques so follow along with me okay so we're done with the html remember this this is the parent container okay and the box is our children so the container is the parent the box is the children so now come to the CSS section and over here you're going to give a star like this then curly braces. What we're going to do is we're going to remove the default margin and padding from our browser like this. Look m0px tab oh sorry then p0px tab then box sizing box sizing um, we're going to set it to border box so that we can get the exact measurement okay. So over here you're going to select the container and the box one like this dot container curly braces and then dot box one like this curly braces and we're all set now we're going to style the box to our likings okay so h 120 pixels tap okay and then width 120 pixels tap we're going to set the background color to blue okay sky blue sky blue like this and then set the border of two pixels solid uh, 2px solid black like this look at that we can see our box over here we're pretty much done but come to the container over here you're gonna set the height to 100 vh but before that let me show you why this is important okay so you write border 2px solid red like this okay now oh sorry now you can see that uh, let me actually increase that so that you can see better you can see that we have just this little amount of space to work with but we want the entire screen to work with right so that's why we have to set it to height 100 vh h 100 vh tap like this Control s and now we can see that the width has expanded i mean the height has expanded to 100 percent which means that we can move this box anywhere we, we want that's why we are going to set it to height 100 vh otherwise if you don't set the height what will happen is most of your alignment techniques along the vertical line will not work so once that's clear remove this border from here before starting the tutorial you should understand this that this is the x-axis okay and this one is the y-axis let me tell that again this is the x-axis x and this one is the y-axis or you can call it these names over here you can call it the horizontal the main or the x axis and this one is a vertical cross or the y axis so once that's clear let's start our tutorial all right then come to the container over here and you're gonna write display flex like this okay in order to move the box anywhere along the x axis we have three values and one property we have the justify content property and three values flex start flex end and center let's experiment with this okay so over here on the container you're going to write display flex which is the parent remember this this is the parent container and this is the children container okay so display flex and then you're going to write justify content and write center okay now you can see that the box has moved to the very center 
along the horizontal line. If you want to learn more about Flexbox and its properties, check the video description. Now we're going to move this box from here to the very center along the Y axis. For this we have a property called Align Items and it has three values, Flex Start, Flex End and Center. Let's experiment with this, okay? So you're going to comment this from here and you write Align Items over here, then Center like this and we're going to see that this box has moved the very center over here. Now let's move the box to the very center both along the X and the Y axis. So you're going to uncomment this from here, justify content center, align items center. Now you can see that the box is over here. We're done with Flexbox. Now let's look at the grid system. Now, now come back to CodePen and delete everything from the container except the height and the display grid. You're going to write display grid. Previously it was display flex. Okay, so let's write over here on the comment section that, we, that we're going to discuss right now. We're going to use two properties justify content and align content or alternatively we can also use justify item and align item let me show you okay so we're going to discuss about these four properties over here one two three four you can use any two okay so let's start with the justify content the justify content works along the x-axis and it has three values start end center let's experiment okay so come over here the container and remember this is the parent and this one is a children okay so you write justify content and then you're gonna write center over here control s and you can see the box has moved to the very center over here let's experiment with align content along the y axis okay for that we're gonna write align content and write center over here oh let me actually show you the values we have the start end and the center if you want to learn more about the grid properties and its values, check the video description down below. Now, alright then, now let's move the box to the very center over here. What you're gonna do is you're gonna uncomment this. So we have the justify content and the align content, which gives us the box to the very center over here like this. Now let's actually uh, look at the justify items and the align items and let's see the difference between these two, okay? Let's comment this from here like this and um, write justify items sorry items uh, center and align items over here and write center like this okay now you can see the exact same value i mean the exact same result but what's the difference the main difference is when you enter another box okay let me show you okay come over here and write dot box two okay tap now let's see the difference but before that you also need to style that box okay you write comma over here comma and then you enter the box two over here dot box two now both the boxes will get similar styles now let's see the difference between these two okay now the main thing is we justify content works by dividing the screen between these two boxes how let me show you there is an invisible line over here okay and over here on this section at the exact center the box is over there and below here on this section the box is at the exact center over here but if you use justify content what will happen is let's uncomment this and comment this like this okay now you can see that the both the boxes are on the exact center there is the difference I hope you understood the difference between these four properties over here. Now let's look at the shorthand, okay? You can also write um, place items center like this, place items center, okay? Or alternatively, you can also write over here, place content center, P-L-A-C-E content center like this, okay? Oh, sorry, center like this. Now this one is the shorthand of these two properties, okay? The justify content and the align content. And this place items is the shorthand of these two properties over here, okay? So these are gonna uh, give us the same result as the shorthand one like this, look. If we uncomment this, then um, let's actually remove the box number two because we don't need it. I hope you understood the difference between those four properties by now. Um, remove the box two from here control s now you can see that the place content is is giving us the same result as the justify content and the align content now let's look at the position property all right then come back to code pen and remove everything from here and now remove this display grid from here as well 
and the first thing that we're going to write is position uh, uh, position relative why is that we're going to write position relative over here and we're going to write position absolute over here wait let me explain okay write position um relative over here okay and then over here we're going to write position absolute like this so what is happening is that i'm declaring that this container is the parent and this one will be our children and any measurement we do inside this box over here it will be relative to our parent container before experimenting with this value first of all you need to understand the center point of a div so here is an illustration of what i mean this is our box over here and this is its center point by default so if we have that center point over there we cannot actually use the position property accurately what will happen is we're gonna get this behavior over here okay so you can see that this box is not at the exact center over here what is happening is because of this center point over here you can see that so this is the center point of the box by default but we want the center point to be over here at this exact center only then we can place our box at the exact center along the x and the y axis let me show you a demo okay come back to code pen um, over here and this is set to position absolute okay now we're gonna use the top and the left property like this top 50 percent like this uh, 50 tap like this and left uh, 50 percent like this okay now you can notice that this box is not actually at the exact center so this if you draw a line like this then you can see that uh, the lines actually intersect at this point over here okay but the box is over here we want it to be at the exact center so there is a property called the transform property okay again here's an illustration you can see that we are using the transform property to move the center point from this point to over here and then this will give us this result over here um here we go we can see that the box is now at the exact center along the x and the y axis so let's experiment with the values okay so come back to code pen and you write transform and the translate property okay translate it has three different properties the x translate x the translate y and the translate z just write the translate property and it will be the shorthand of those three properties okay by that i mean that if you write three values over here let's say 10 comma 10 comma 10 like this now this will be our translate x this will be our translate y and this win this will be our translate z okay now let's put that aside if you want to change that center point from this point to over here what we're gonna do is write minus 50 percent like this comma minus 50 percent like this now you can see that this is on the exact center along both the axis on the x and the y if you want to just work with just the x axis not the y axis what you're gonna do is um, you are gonna remove just a single value from here like this uh, control s and then you're gonna uh, comment this top from here control s and you can see that the box is at the exact center and we have removed the i mean we have translated the center point from here to here if you remove the transform property let's see what happens now you can see that this center point is over here if you uncomment this again now you can see that the center point is over there at the center there we go if you want to work along the y-axis you're gonna do this okay you comment this left from here and you uncomment the top okay and then you're gonna place zero over here okay zero and comma minus 50 percent now you can see the box is at the exact center what this transform property is doing it's moving that center point from here to here if you uncomment this then you can see this behavior over here the center point is over here uncomment this and there we go let's put it at the center again like this um, you're gonna write minus 50 percent over here sorry minus uh, 50 percent there we go now it's on the exact center over here let's start our discussion with the margin property all right then come back to code pen and you remove everything from here um, we don't need it um, and remove the position property from here okay and the position property from here as well Control s and you also remove this from here like this uh, delete this Control s 
and we have the box over here okay so in order to work with the margin property what you're gonna do is always turn on the display flex over here on the parent container where the parent container like this d flex tap like this control s and now we can efficiently work with the margin property along the y axis let me show you a practical demo okay but first let's actually work with the x axis okay in order to work with the x axis what you're gonna do is you're gonna come at the very bottom over here and then you're gonna write the margin property okay margin but before that actually let me show you why work with the margin property the margin property is actually the shorthand of four properties how many four properties margin top right bottom and left okay so this is actually the shorthand okay if you write the margin then you can work with four properties together let's say that 10 px 10 px 10 px 10 px so everywhere it is 10 pixels okay so this will be the so this will be the margin top right bottom left top right bottom left okay but if you just input two values just two values what will happen is it will be considered as top bottom and this one will be considered left right okay let's actually write zero over here and let's see the box over here now we can see that the 10 pixels of margin is getting applied over here at the top and at the bottom so the first value is top bottom and the next one is left right now let's experiment okay we're gonna put that box on the very center along the x-axis okay in order to do that um, this is the top this is the top bottom okay so write 0 px over here and write auto over here control s and now you can see that the box is at the very exact center reverse the order okay from auto it's gonna be over here okay which is top bottom and on the left right it's gonna be zero like this control s and there we go we have the box on the exact center along the y axis if you want to place the box at the exact center along both x and y axis what you're gonna do is you're gonna remove that zero pixels from here and you can see that the box will be at the exact center over here so what is happening is the margin is getting applied here 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 and here automatically that's why it is at the exact center but what happens if you remove the display flex from here let's experiment okay now you can see that it is actually not working that's why you should always turn on display flex when using with the margin property or alternatively you can also turn on the display grid and it will still work so we're done with our tutorial if you like the video give a like share it with a friend and feel free to subscribe till then take care and i'll see you in the next video bye bye